This video is about showing you how to take advantage of free money being given out within the crypto ecosystem. And no, this isn't one of those sketchy, send one Bitcoin, I'll send you 10 back videos. No, those are scams. However, there is a magical part of cryptocurrency that simply does not exist anywhere else in the world, and that is something called airdrops. Now, we've made extensive videos on how to find airdrops, how to make sure that you're part of airdrops, and of course, profiling a ton of protocols and services that we believed on the channel would eventually receive airdrops. Now, we are very, very happy to say that several of those products have already done airdrops and that those airdrops have been worth multiple thousands of dollars each, up to $10,000 or more, depending on how frequently you used these services. And so in the face of a crippling bear market, the reality is that airdrops are alive and well. Those that are still using products, remaining active, are still privy to some of the best options opportunities in the world that require almost no risk to access. That's right, money doesn't grow on trees. But in crypto, there's nothing stopping you from getting a free bag of cash if you do the right things. If you guys are excited to hear about how airdrop season is progressing very well, then destroy that like button. In fact, liking this video might make you eligible for a future airdrop, a very special airdrop from the like protocol, which doesn't really do anything but support these YouTube videos, but you're definitely going to enjoy it. So smash that like button and let's dive in. So let's dive into this bear market opportunity. Shout out to Bankless for the article that we'll be using in part here. But the reality is that this bear market opportunity is amazing. But the fact is that so many people who take an emotional reaction to the bear market will end up missing these airdrops. Either they won't be paying attention, won't do the simple steps to actually access the airdrop. And when the airdrop comes, they won't be watching the charts taking advantage of optimal sell opportunities. That's right. It's not just enough to earn the airdrop. You need to claim the airdrop drop and eventually, if you want to profit from it, sell that airdrop. Of course, if you're a long-term believer in the project, then go ahead and hold it. However, as famous investors and traders tell you, when the market gives you a gift, take it. So with that in mind, we're going to be talking to you a little bit about this opportunity, but reminding you of the challenge to overcome your own emotions, like the video we recently put out, and just in general, understanding that the bear market is rife and full of opportunities for those who are able to separate their emotions and keep pushing through this. So again, mental health is big. You're not the only one going through this. I'm dealing with it. Everyone's dealing with it. Down markets absolutely stink, but they're also amazing for providing incredible opportunities and helping people grow and mature as investors. So let's jump into this. As David Hoffman says here, for first cyclers, if you're a first cycler, meaning you weren't here for the last bear market, or even if you were and you didn't play your stack right, you want a bear market. So let's talk about where we're at right now, which is airdrop season. So it seems that we're on the new cusp of an airdrop season. We recently had the OP Optimism token. This article was written several weeks ago. So Optimism did get airdropped. We'll go over the performance of Optimism and talk about how the quick to claim and quick to sell were eventually proven to be the smartest of the bunch. And we recently just got the Hop protocol, both announced and recently delivered to users. Now I can tell you based on my own airdrop, as well as the people I've talked to, that this was even bigger than the Uniswap airdrop which ended up starting at about $2,000. $2 to $4,000 was where Uniswap fluctuated for several weeks before it ended up exploding with the bull market. But the point is that two of these protocols were protocols that we showed you here on this channel that we outlined for you as probable targets for an airdrop. But if you missed these, let's analyze these and understand that these aren't the only ones and that there are more protocols that are set to do airdrops in the not too distant future. Also projects that we have covered here. This is not meant to be in I told you so lap, but I'm just trying to drive home the point that for people who I know out there who are struggling, that a few thousand dollars would completely change their world or at least significantly help there's free money out there. Please pay attention to this stuff. But know that to actually claim this money, it's not so simple as just clicking a box and getting paid. The airdrop designers are getting smarter and rewarding higher quality users with higher quantities of airdrops. Of course, these types of systems can get heavily botted. They can get heavily manipulated. And in the end, the goal of the airdrop is to stimulate the actual product itself, the protocol itself, not to just give out money for the sake of it. So check this out. Look at how Optimism decided to structure their airdrop. You could see that they had their Optimism users, pretty much any address that touched Optimism, 
optimism. They have their repeat optimism users, where you can see here there's already one fifth of the addresses that are repeat users. This is where you can start separating yourself by coming back periodically to these protocols. And again, not doing overly uh, gargantuan amounts of trading or investing, but just moving funds around as if you are a regular there. This doesn't have to be overly burdensome, but just you see here, addresses that used optimism over four separate weeks, meaning that if you touch this on four different weekly periods, then you're now in a new category, a higher tier of airdrop. We have DAO voters, right? If you decided to cast a vote in the DAO, that is once again, a significantly smaller portion than here. They have 19,000 addresses as multi-sig signers. I didn't know they had this many addresses. They have Gitcoin donors and they have users priced out of Ethereum. As you can see here, the absolute best category or one of the most important categories with the least amount of users is this repeat optimism users bucket, as well as the multi-sig signers. Obviously, there's a bit of a technical leap here. So just know that by using something repeatedly, you're in almost one of the most coveted categories for the airdrop. This is something to consider as you look to potentially extracting value from future airdrops. Now, of course, there's a multiplier. Obviously, some of these protocols, like if you're a repeat optimism user, you're obviously also an optimism user. You might be a voter, you might be a signer. So just know they also gave multipliers if you met multiple criteria. That's something to consider is that you're not just one, but you could be many or all of these things, and that could lead to more tokens. We also see that Hot Protocol, which just launched today, uh, did something similar. They have bridgers, they have liquidity providers, they have bonders, Twitter and Discord users. Uh, they even rewarded social community members, external contributors, Ethereum users. As you can see, they have their own formula for how they were going to reward. And I believe the percents here are based on the initial percent of the total supply. So you can see bridgers, obviously, addresses with at least two transactions and $1,000 of total volume. Uh, 10x 100 transactions counts, right? So any total aggregate of $1,000 of total volume uh, have gotten the, the vast brunt of this. Again, we actually had Hot Protocol and Optimism along with many other protocols as potential airdrop targets on videos a while back. So now the question is, now that you know that you could have claimed these, let's talk about what you should have done immediately after claiming them because the answer is very clear right now in a bear market. Here is the Optimism all-time chart and as you can see, it is horrendous. Now, Optimism is one of the most exciting L2 solutions in the world. Obviously, it's it's getting less traction than Arbitrum. People have some concerns about it. But, you know, Optimism and Optimistic Ethereum have been one of the most talked about, one of the most heavily invested in. You have, you know, storybook VCs raising huge nine-figure sums to develop this protocol. And the promise of Optimism has been hailed from all kinds of early DeFi protocols as well. However, in this new market, as you can see, there was no big bounce after the, you know, initial sell dump. Now, normally with token airdrops, as you can see, there's a spike, then there's a drop as people rush to sell. And then usually what happens is there's a nice rally up that happens about 48 hours after the initial token airdrop. We've seen this with a ton of different projects that about 48 to 72 hours, there's a nice little wave after that initial sell pressure dissipates. And that's usually when the best selling opportunities are is once the market recovers after those sort of initial sellers get in and try to sell. However, that's not what happened with Optimism. We just saw a down only chart after just about like an hour or two. It's only been down, down, down. And that's because we're in a bear market where people are trying to claw back as much money as they could. The people who are using Optimism are fairly sophisticated. They're probably better at selling because they're already using L2s and other complex solutions. So what we're seeing here is that the Optimism chart paints a very clear picture that as soon as you get these airdrops, you should probably sell them. As you can see from the hot protocol, this thing literally just launched. It just launched an hour ago or two hours ago. But as you can see on a shorter time frame chart, you can see that this hot protocol token launched and went all the way up to darn near a dollar and then has just been really getting sold into. And as you can see, it doesn't look like it's having any meaningful balances. Does this mean there's anything wrong with hot protocol? No, but I can tell you very much after talking to my buddies and seeing it in my wallet, it's not a bad idea that if someone drops a few thousand bucks into your wallet for pretty much nothing, that it's not a bad idea to sell that, take the money and put a smile on your face. Maybe go buy yourself a massage to relax during this bear market. The point is that both Optimism and Hop are phenomenal products, highly used, and their tokens are down only in this particular market. So just because it's an airdrop, unless there's some really compelling value accrual mechanism to the token, and there are exceptions to this, like Looks Rare had an amazing airdrop. Again, the market was less down, less bearish than it is now. But if there was a protocol like Looks that was generating so much income and sharing that income with the token holders, there's more of a reason to hold it because you're earning other types of rewards. And so my point is you want to stay engaged here because if you're not paying attention, 
option, you won't be able to sell this and you'll be down here with one third of what you could have had if you had sold when the market was really pumping. Same with optimism. So we get it. It pays to stay engaged. And we were right about at least two protocols that had free money airdrops for their communities that you could have taken advantage of. But I'm guessing that maybe you didn't. So don't get sour because guess what? We're giving you the keys to get the next opportunities. As always, we stay focused on the future and what's around the next corner here at LEO Trades. If you guys are excited about that, if that gives you value, make sure you smash that subscribe button because we're not quitting here in the bear market. In fact, we're just getting started. All right, so we do know that Hot Protocol did have an airdrop. This is, again, a screenshot from the list from uh, Bankless that we shared with you all. And as you can see, Element did get an airdrop. Hot Protocol did get an airdrop. DeFi Saver uh, is unconfirmed. Ondo unconfirmed. Saddle did get confirmed. But I will say CowSwap is a fantastic exchange, uh, really, really good to avoid minor extractable value. Apparently, it's confirmed as well. The airdrop has not happened yet, though. We know that airdrop did happen for ENS. And what we do know is that OpenSea is probably not doing a token like so many people wanted and hoped for. And MetaMask, apparently, according to Bankless, is not doing a token. But to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if either of these projects did some sort of a token in the future. But there are things you need to be paying attention to right now. First of all, there are new airdrops coming, namely one for Arbitrum, which is by far the most successful layer two solution to date, as well as the other big 10,000 pound gorilla in the room, Starkware, which is home to projects like Immutable X and hundreds of amazing projects. Starkware and Arbitrum are monster, monster protocols. And it's only logical that their airdrops would create a ton of market value, even in this bear market. So you want to be prepared, which means behaving like a normal user. Remember, if you're just signing up, clicking, trying to get past the gates, you get the airdrop, that's not going to get you the most value. Actually checking in and playing with the protocols, trying to understand them. And if there are useful use cases, using those use cases as much as possible in Arbitrum is a very, very good idea. And so how can you prepare for the Arbitrum airdrop? So according to Olympio here, um, I actually am not super familiar with this guy, but as you can say, he's sharing airdrop yield farming and DeFi strategies. Check him out. I'll go ahead and give him a follow for this awesome thread. How to prepare for the Arbitrum airdrop? Well, the rumor is that Arbitrum Odyssey starts on June 13th. Here we are. It is June 9th out here in Los Angeles. I don't know about all you guys, but that means it's just a couple of days away. So plenty of time for you to prepare for this. Now, the token is not confirmed publicly. However, it is a natural step for a protocol like Arbitrum to have a protocol token token for governance and other important functions of the protocol. Now we know that L2s are competitive with each other, especially when they're running on different forms of scaling. And so when the OP optimism token was announced, we had the head of Offchain Labs, the CEO, Stephen uh, Goldfeeder. He said, the appetizer is always served before the main course, which is of course, pew pew, shots fired over there at optimism saying, you ain't the main dish, we are. So the Arbitrum Odyssey is an eight-week event where users bridge to Arbitrum to use the protocol and get NFT rewards. Sounds juicy. There is no connection between these NFTs and the Arby token, so we are speculating that they could play a part in the future, not confirmed. Again, they're using a sort of uh, stopgap here. Maybe those NFTs are things you can burn to access Arbitrum tokens. We don't know what the future is, but know that they're starting an eight-week event where if you just come, play, use the protocol, and I guarantee a lot of people will be doing this, you'll be setting yourself up for a rewards mechanism. Again, what we've seen is that these protocols treat their early users and their early testers extremely well, and this could be you. So there's some speculation here as well, uh, at least by Olympio, that Small Brains NFT, which is, of course, if we scroll up here, the NFT PFP of Stephen Goldfeder, which is the CEO of Offchain Labs, the creator of Arbitrum. Uh, there's clearly a connection here. Obviously, Small Brains is an amazing community. Shout out to the small fam. Uh, the reality is, is that because the whole team here seems to have Small Brain NFTs, that maybe there's some kind of allocation reserved for the Small Brains NFT community. Again, this is pure speculation, but maybe this $800 floor price on a small brains will end up netting thousands of dollars in Arbitrum tokens. We just don't know yet. Anyway, the TLDR is you need to stay engaged and I would be hunting this Arbitrum airdrop literally like I was out of food on a desert island and there was a fat hog running around on the other side of the forest. This is such an easy way to profit from a natural evolution of crypto with one of the most promising protocols in crypto. Again, just stay engaged. That's why we beg you on this channel to not leave crypto and to stay focused on this industry because where else is someone going to walk up and hand you multiple thousands 
thousands of dollars, potentially five figures for literally just showing up and clicking around on sites. It's very, very irregular. And that's why we urge you to pay attention for this airdrop season. So there you have it. The lesson remains the same, that crypto is the land of opportunity, bull or bear. And of course, we know that there's still a base layer of activity here, both from airdrops as well as more degenerate stuff and long-term projects that everyone believes in. In my opinion, crypto is a place where you should always be focused, even when things are tricky. Because the ability to make money through things like airdrops positions people for success. Of course, in the United States, maybe $10,000 isn't that much money to you. However, for most people around the world, 10K is a completely life-changing or life-improving amount of money. It could help you get through tough times or just become the beginning of your nest egg for Ethereum, help you save more and more tokens and protocols you believe in so that when the market comes back, maybe that grows 5, 10X and you end up with a significant amount of money. Literally, chasing after airdrops is free money. There's certainly some base amount of money you need to do it, a few hundred bucks. Maybe you'll burn a little bit of money on gas fees, but compared to the potential potential benefits of the airdrop, these are pretty de minimis. And so I encourage you, in fact, I beg you to please pay attention to airdrops, to keep hunting these airdrops because it truly could make the difference between you absolutely crushing this bear market with that extra bit of liquidity you need to hop on the most important and obvious glaring opportunities. And of course, just missing out for no other reason than you just didn't do the thing that would have given you the free money. So help me help you chase after these airdrops, get that free money. And if you enjoyed this video, absolutely absolutely destroy that like button. It is the surefire way to make sure that you are involved in all the airdrops of the future. As always, you can find me on Twitter at Elio Trades, and I'll see you very soon on the next episode.